<coughs> okay guys, so I thought I'd do a little video sharing my um, top five things that I've learned in my first year of riding, okay? Um, about riding safely, or should I say mistakes that I've made that um, I've learned from, right? And I've been riding for just over a year now and um, these aren't in any particular order but these are all things that I've experienced and um, I'm always aware of now when I ride okay so number one is don't ride too close to the uh, the car in front because nine times out of ten when you go over a pothole or you go over something in the road um, you know a pothole or um, there's an obstruction in the road maybe a piece of wood or a branch or something that's fallen off a vehicle nine times out of ten when you go over that thing it's because you weren't um, looking ahead and you weren't looking ahead because you were too close to the vehicle in front and therefore you can't see the road ahead right happened to me a couple of times early on and I learned quickly that when you're up someone's backside um, number one your braking is um, you know your braking distance isn't good but number two you just can't see the road and that's um, mainly the reason why you end up going over potholes and grids and things and uh, you know your suspension takes a hammer in so that would be number one number two is to do with steering right and it's um, again one of the things that I learned early on um, look through the bend okay so use your vision and use your head and turn your head um, and look out of the bend right so for example this bend coming up here um, I'm not looking immediately in front I'm looking at the bend ahead and I'm turning my head and my neck in the direction that I want to go and that helps steer the bike right so um, look through the bends and look to where you want to go right if you and, and this is a, a big thing when you're riding anyway because if you're um, let's say I'm on a straight road let's try and find a straight stretch here and I look towards um, the curb side then I will gravitate towards the curb side right if I look towards the center of the road I will gravitate towards what I'm looking at um, there is a name for it right there's loads of good YouTube videos that explain um, you know how your brain works in this respect and there is a name for it I can't remember what it is but yeah look out of the bends and look where you want to actually exit the bend in, and the bike will follow okay so where your head goes your body follows and the bike will follow as well um, number three also to do with steering and um, steering at speed right so when you're at like over 10 15 miles an hour get used to counter steering okay so if you don't know what counter steering is again there's loads of good videos that explain this but very very uh, simply if I want to turn to the left I can push on the left handlebar right and the bike will lean to the left if I want to turn to the right I will push on the right handlebar and the bike will lean to the right and um, it's counterintuitive of what you think should happen right so when I'm um, wanting to turn right on this bend here when I push forward on the right handlebar the front wheel actually turns to the left ever so slightly but the bike then leans to the right and that's what causes the turn to the right so again there's loads of good videos on it counter steering when you're cornering at speed of over like uh, 15 mile an hour something like that just push on the right handlebar and the bike will lean to the right push on the left handlebar and the bike will lean to the left and conversely you could also pull right on the opposite handlebar so I want to turn to the right I could pull on the left handlebar and the bike will lean so again check it out counter steering do some research make sure you understand it it will help you with uh, cornering for sure combine that with item number two on my list and um, you'll nail the corners in no time um, so number four would be indicators right I've lost count of the number of times that I forget to turn my indicator off and it's one of the biggest reasons that people have accidents is they leave the indicator on um, people think you're gonna turn and then they pull out of the junction ahead and um, that's when you smack into the side of them because you left your indicator on and they thought you were gonna turn and you didn't realize you had your indicator on so even now probably once a week I'll, I'll forget to turn my indicator off and it's still something that I'm trying to um, program into my brain every time you indicate make sure you turn it off afterwards and I know you can get these beeper systems that you can have installed um, I've not gone that far yet I'm just trying to develop the habit of always turning the indicator off tip number five from me 
in my first year of riding would be ride at your own pace right especially if you're out in a group of two or three or more and they're all more experienced don't feel you've got to keep up right slow it down a little bit ride at a pace that's comfortable for you you're going to catch them up anyway when they come to a junction or lights or whatever so don't worry about that and then if you've got someone behind you if you've got a vehicle behind you that's pushing you a little bit just hold your position in the road and don't let them bully you right because again if you're riding too fast at a speed that is not comfortable for you you are probably going to have an accident sooner or later right so um there are my tips guys my top five tips things mistakes that i've made in my first year of riding i'm no expert but this is just based on my practical experience and i hope someone finds them useful and um feel free to comment and guys don't forget if you love the videos please subscribe and um plenty more coming up cheers guys have a great day